And we're ready to get into the action. Vitality and Fnatic starting on Fnatic's map pick. It's Inferno. All right, away we go. We can reflect on ESL Pro League Season 12, where Vitality did take down Fnatic 2-0, and Inferno was the first map 16-13 in favor of oh, I love Vitality. It. I love a bit of aggression on the CT pistol. Stops those CTs from <gasps> pushing in, and they've got so many nades, they're forced to use them. They're losing their heads. They've lost them all. It's only J-Dubs. Sat on the close wall, hitting a necessary first. It's hard to find RPK. He whittles away at him. Crims elsewhere finds another. So as the dust settles, a 2v2 emerges and Fnatic have dealt with the mid-aggression. I, I love still seeing the fact, because keep in mind, when I look at Fnatic and I see Inferno, my mind instantly goes to that mad aggression. But seeing a team do that against them and doing it well is perfect. Masuta. Ooh, a risky fight. That he wants was it. Bold. He wants it. He's committed to this. JW's on the other side. Now, keep in mind, Shox is 4 HP and a million miles away for all it matters. Masuta's in a 1v2 at this oh, point. Oh, that's so low. Oh, one bullet. Shox is being bold, though. He's moving forward here. Masuta knows that he has to be the one to find these frags, and so he is not letting that bomb escape. And that's the shot he needed. Does relieve the bomb, relieve some stress. Still winnable for Crims, not anymore. That was the Masuta shot we needed to see. And so Vitality, an aggressive start to their CT pistol. And it's nice to see it converted. No bomb plant either for Fnatic, and that's the, worth considering. Crims doing his very best, managing to do a whole lot of damage, but nothing more. He was the one that took shocks down to four. This was the Zywu double to start us off. Uh, JW and Zai were both getting uh, doubles there on the pistol round. Not a bad way to get things underway here today. As uh, oh, it won't be the force by Fnatic just taking the save here, unable to get the plant. One of their traits, if they don't get the plant, they'll take the full eco, get the AKs out going into the third round. So this will be very, very quickly uh, one of those rounds, ladies and gentlemen. One of those. If you didn't join us for ESO One Cologne or Pro League. Oh, filthy. You will uh, know that these eco rounds, oh. especially with just the Glocks or the USPs, they can be quite quick. So we're going to talk about fun things like the color orange. Yes, it is, a, it is a color. And it's also a word that's often difficult to rhyme with. Zywoo's got himself an extra 600 buckaroos. I had someone tweet me saying, just looking forward to hearing what new words you come up with for money. Um, the other Thriller. Day. Yep. Thriller. They just, it, something else comes out, your schmeckles. Yep. Mm, dosh. Dosh, that's a good one. Yeah. Do you know that we uh, stole the word orange from, I believe, the French? The French? Orange. Mm -hmm. I think Ooh. that came from potentially Arabic. But... Okay. Yeah. It all goes back. Yep. Language is a cool thing. Well, Vitality are holding on to th four SMGs here, so it is a bit of a bonus round scenario. Masuda onto that Thanos. Utility fantastic. Diffuse gets out to play, and the AK 47s will be brought on up for Fnatic. <laughs> Galil for Mr. Flusher, and he's going to be a key element over towards Banana throughout this game alongside of Golden as they try and garner control. I, I've got this thing in my head that I'd really like to see after seeing... Is it a brain? Woo, debatable. Quite smooth, considering. Um, <laughs> but the thing I, I'd really like to see, after seeing Furia, right, I've had the pleasure of watching what Art can do. Is it wrong of me to want maybe one of these two teams to try and implement a bit of that? Right, that mad aggression that somehow works because I, you know, I still see these names and feel like I can apply it so well. But I don't know if it works against European teams. Yeah, no, oh, for sure. I think you see that all the time, actually, in the mid-round calling for oh, Fnatic, a magnificent double wow. overcoming the odds. Masuta will not get away with his scavenging of the AK-47. It does cost him his life, but the numbers favoring now. That double has completely slowed down Fnatic. They have lost all of that mid-control they fought for, and Zai was just filling the gap now. Drops a smoke. Can reposition, might even grab that AK. Crims wants to contest the spray to no avail. Difficult one to win now for Fnatic. No territory to work with. And up mid, that appears to be the end result. Smoke over towards Modo. Zaiwu has two choices, force towards the side or play over towards... Oh, that incendiary is perfect. Just as the Lurk smoke comes in, the incendiary stops Brolin's progress. He's got a flash for the push after, but that's five seconds to go. Gives Shock some time to actively find an angle ahead of it. Oh, he might catch him here. Yep. Brolin, good oh. jiggle. Fantastic frag down to Zaiwu now on the site. Rotate coming in from Apex, but it's all onto the star of the show here. He's got to control this. Overwhelmed, outdone. And even in a 3v4, it was a 3v2 towards the site. And Fnatic played it very well. Obviously propelled by Bronze's approach from their balcony. Now Apex and RPK coming back into this. They weren't super quick getting over here, so time has begun to pass. And looking at their side, there, there's not a kit to hand. It is on yeah. the site, however. Uh, they might just go for damage here. You can see Apex yeah. make his way around to halls. If they can take these rifles away from Fnatic, take all three, that means the win bonus for this round is not enough to get the AKs back out. There'll be 
emissions made with utility or weapons, and they are hanging around, lingering to see if they can. It would take be cool if RPK things. does kind of just hunt. Yeah, he is. He's locking him in. Oh, oh, that's a shame. That was the AK gone, and uh, Brolin's not having any wow. of it. He's, he's sharp today, isn't he? Yeah, Flusher does go down, so that is an AK force down, but that's keeping three rebuys. That is going to keep Fnatic really on their toes. It is going to be the, bo the bonus benefit for Vitality, though. They'll be bringing back the rifles. What game was it we saw Apex going mad in? I'm trying to... Sure. I, we've, we've seen it was so a many. Dust two. It was a Dust 2 that he was playing. Uh, yeah, I remember him, like, banging up short, yep. just, like, cutting people out. I, I really wish I could recall who they're playing against because that was the Apex I'd love to see again today. I feel like it may have been against FaZe. Maybe. I, I really... Like, With as the Scout said, as well. He's been dumping mm. that now. Flash of battling for some banana control with a Mac 10, and look how much space he's managed to gain early. Chances are the retake Molly could come in, but he's good for now. Look how little they have to play with. They have so few pieces of utility to put into action here, Vitality. That little bonus round didn't get them much. So now Misuta postured a little further forward. He does have support, so stacking out towards those apartments. Even shocks quite close by towards potentially Boiler, but Brolin's been very crisp today. And he this might still be. Nice crossfire. Oh, Krems just got lost control of the spray. The aggressive corridor setup has gained them full apps control, but there is a bit of a moment here. Shocks with the sound cue. I wonder if it's been heard. It looks like Flush has <laughs> clocked it, and that's going to make things really awkward. If Shock goes down here, which is likely he does, oh, Golden's going to peek him. Oh, that's a problem. Poor old Masuta now to solo hold the site. They do have an incendiary for Pit. He may have to drop his smoke. They're going to start pushing for info on Banana, but this is all again on man, one man. Masuta. They're taking their time. This is actually going to play into his benefit. Chance. Look at these two through middle. They're, they're close, and that bomb is by Boiler. So if they catch the timing, no, it's just slipped in front of them. Watching the bomb come up short, and Masuta couldn't get it. Oh, that's Sadly. a shambles. Oh, Alex, I don't like that. That could have been so much more. Look how low they are. JW Golden, just a squift. A squift? That's a whiff spray, a squiff. A skew whiff, just whiff. You whiff, whiff. I'm just taking a look back at uh, the ESL Pro League season 12 uh, map of Dust 2. And it was against that of Fnatic, the game we're trying to remember here. Apex. My brain one, tried to help yeah, me. Yeah, Apex had a 1.81 rating. He had 29 yeah. kills, 7 assists, 14 deaths. Uh, he was plus 15 overall, 125.7 ADR. Bloody hell. So that was Dust 2. Maybe that's a big reason Maybe as is. to why it's been removed here from Samuelson and Co. As, uh, get into Vertigo. Pistols will come out. Do you guys want some plates for your donuts? I can go get little plates. No, I'll be fine for now. I, I already had something quite sweet with my coffee, but I'd love to, you know, maybe during the afternoon. Yeah, my pastel de nata. Oh, they have another dink. God, they're making this USP round at least a little bit painful. It looks like Zai was going to be caught out. And Roland collects that. But if they can just find one more, they'll consider this a victory in itself. Dinks dealt. Round over. And he does manage to scavenge away an AK. So this is starting to shape up nicely for Fnatic. It's three consecutive rounds. Good fragging as well. Shock's yet to deliver a single frag. I kind of like the blue theme. It feels like a new a new leaf. You know, there's no the lime IEM green. Theme, huh? I, feel, I, I love it because it reminds me of, like, I feel like IEM is always just the golden standard, right? It's uh, like, why are we here then? Feels pretty. Shut up, Chad, because I'll find out. <laughs> All right, don't let them know. You got to keep them thinking, you know, we're, we're valuable. It is clean, though, isn't it? It's really nice. I like the edges. I'm a fan of the rounded edge. Mm. Yeah. A little thicker than before. Ooh, Flusha. Uh, ooh, I'll be though. Not bad. Does he get out alive? Just. Uh, 24 HP. Still has a bit of util to keep into play. Didn't have to dump that too quickly. But, of course, then Top Banana Control swings over towards Fnatic. And Golden's feeling quite brave. Ooh. Apex has a smoke out here, so this could be problematic. Oh, just tucked away. That's your run. Apex converts. Yeah, and Krims has evaded the spray. RPK low. It is going to get awkward. Apex shocks, they're all there. But what bomb is not. They're trying to sell this as best they can. You can see the Brolin has the bomb T steps. They're trying to force the rotate. I imagine he's going to join them. Yeah, he will. So there's three CTs posturing for this quote unquote retake. Quite an odd dynamic in the server at this point in time. Such a heavy disadvantage. Oh! Oh, Krims just pops one through the smoke. Finishes up onto RPK. There's a chance now. Grims as well onto Apex. He's having a round. Triple kill. And now a chance for Fnatic. Bomb needs to go down. JW deploying his smoke to aid in that process. He has to dip into pool. Grims' nonsense through the smoke has got them here. 
He might be up to some more of that. Oh, he had a good go at it, didn't he? On top of the fountain. JW finally gets to place as Crims has been removed. Now, JW, the 1v2. He goes up, doesn't he? Of course That's he such does. a JW move. Oh! Of course he does. He finds a way around the smoke, but now he has to look for more. Don't think he saw the second, but he knows they're close by. Taking a bit of a gamble, looking, leering, ensuring that no one's closing in. Gets the spot. And now the 1v1, Masuta's got a molly. But time's ticking. He hasn't got a kid either. JW! Oh, he takes the fight, but... That hell, yeah. yeah that that was, was it. That was the deal sealed. You can pick up that AWP. Full 10 second defuse. So he'll be grabbing that one hand over to Zai Wu. Fnatic giving it a damn good go, considering the early disadvantage. If that bomb wasn't there, if that bomb had gone down a little sooner, but Vitality were very happy to wait that one out. And we can see the oh, great shot. Oh, Straight into the smoke. A little luck on his side. Lady Luck smiling upon Crims. And a very solid attempt, all things considered. Nay, that was where we lost Crims. I hadn't necessarily processed the loss of Crims. And Masuta very well played, keeping a cool head in the 1v1. So it is going to be a buy from the CTs. Chad, not a fan of the FAMAS. No, I don't love it. Uh, but look, now that it's a little bit cheaper, I can't hate on it as much. Quick up mid, golden, wanting to Fast see... Fast mid, space. Fnatic? Ooh. Yeah, this is uh, good. They've used the molly here to cotton off towards quad side and the smoke over towards arch, and they've already applied pressure here. So Masuda has a lot to deal with right now. Yeah, he could check it, though. Chances are he will. Masuta, oh. very much an active hold so far. Some huge contributions for the Vitality roster. Doesn't feel like any degree of dead weight at all. So we're holding this banana angle. It's no fun for Flash right now. I'd need a Flash to force him off the line. It does seem like Golden has the one, but he might do the dry here. Oop. And the tag. Flush is going to be working with 16 HP for the rest of this round. Never mind, it's taken down oh. straight through the half wall. Zaiwu just silent on him. Just can't go in dry like that, especially against someone like Zaiwu. No fun for anyone. Masuta's is going to find JW. And now the two still trying to brute force their way towards B. Does only implement the attention of RPK eventually. As Crim's looking to kind of lean back away. It doesn't look too good so far, at least in this round. Five standing against them, which is great news if they want to maintain those orps, of course, that are now being um, siphoned through by Shox and Zyru. So they can sit quite comfortably. And there's the closer. So looks like Vitality getting back in, stopping any sort of run from Fnatic, obviously getting the last three. And there's Zyru, unfazed, no utility. And obviously just after the tag, right through the wall. Not too shabby. Money should be uh, seeing Fnatic go for an eco here. Double ops out on that CT side. AKs are looking good. If it's if it's an eco, do you know who you might want to cast? Oh. See, I know he's done like oh. the big finals, right? Yeah. I know. He, I don't know if he does. Does he go down to group stages? Group stage Honestly, anymore. day one groups. There's no way he gets the casting microphone on. I mean, it's just it's not his style. It's not worth his time. Yeah, exactly. It? He doesn't get out of bed for a, if it's not a playoff game. People want to hear his voice. I don't you know, know if he'll. You guys are pretty much right here. You know, first game of the, the tournament. You know, I only I'm a grand finals uh, eco round caster these days, so this uh, it's it's beneath me. You know, but it's still pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> you have a fun topic you want to talk to us about. You can join our ways of uh, talking rubbish oh yeah well i did get a haircut yesterday so we could talk about that oh yeah He's looking very handsome how do, how do you feel about the haircut Rash? i feel okay i don't feel too different i mean some people feel very different after they get a haircut you know it's i feel better i use less shampoo so that's pretty cool so i'm saving that felt cash. like an, that felt like an attack on me then rush was that an attack on no, me no what do you mean no of course no um you're supposed to be commentating whereas i was about to die bro I, oh my I god think he's got cost it. I think the he's game got it. Dude, the smoke's but... down there's no there's oh, okay. there's nothing to worry okay. about look he's they... so disrespectful oh, running boost double run boost double oh. run boost give me a good cam here rush Let's see what we can do oh yes oh yes oh. <laughs> kind of made it work that was all right that was nice i'll give you a five out of seven yeah well i appreciate it and so, uh, that's around done easy so Rush, yo, what did you? What about the beard though? You didn't tell the people about the beard. That is really nice. I do, I do like that a lot. I got my beard trimmed as well. And uh, whenever I do it myself, it's always What's hard to name? be the line. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. I it's don't know okay. What I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Oh uh, dear. <laughs> just, a, just a public service announcement about facial hair as well. For any of us, any of our, you know, Counter Strike fan base, just when you're looking at your facial hair and you yeah. see the hair on your neck primarily. I just, I would encourage you to ha have a professional or even do it yourself. Just trim it up. Trim it up. A little bit. Oh, we're talking I'll, about, I'll try it out. We're talking about the neck beard. Yeah. Yeah, now. Ooh. Shox has got his second frag of this half. So he wants to immediately Dorp. slap him. Oh. The spray's not bad. Flusher wants more. He knows they're retreating. The smokes are good, though. They can just tuck into the site. And Zaiwu, oh, he's so poised and ready for another. 
If Flusher was to drop it off, that moment of inaccuracy would be when Zywu could strike. He does rattle off a shot, jumping for info as well. It's all calculated, looking to reposition. Flusher, he gets a lot of freedom here on the, uh, the B site. And look at that, he spotted RPK. He's going to dunk him down to about 40 HP. Bobby is dead here. He's got yeah, no idea. He's cooked. And that's the freedom we're talking about. But the, once again, the classic Fnatic move of hit, gaining a site control and not having the bomb. It's not out of the realms of possibility. Flusher is in the most ridiculous of spots. What do you see if you're a CT rounding that corner? Can I have a Masuto or a Zaiwu? Yeah. What do you see? Nothing, because he's jumped <laughs> off. <laughs> JW is still coming towards the B side of things, though. So going to flash. They're going to fight. So they don't have a smoke. They, they kind of have to secure the cross. Oh, that's that's all they've got. And Flusher does so well at this. You just don't expect it. Shox gets caught out, but delivers a bullet. And now the 1v1. Shox with the AWP, smoke and kit. Low HP up against JW. Fully locked and loaded. It's a very hard angle for Shox to even contest. Such low HP. What's his hopes and the dreams here? Hoping that Shox gets nervous, starts to cross and he hits the shot. But I think this timer, the standoff... Hey, statues or? Fnatic. Yeah, no lag here. This it is... moved at the exact same time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this round's done. Yep. Shox is not going Take for a this one. He's uh, making sure that JW doesn't run away and hold on to the AK, but he's going to actually lose the AWP. <gasps> That's going to be gifted on over. <laughs> JW is happy as you'd like to pick that one up through. Oh, didn't make his way towards the smoke grenade at the end there, but the money on the side of things for Fnatic is not fantastic. These noobs didn't pick, didn't save the smoke. Yeah, he didn't get there. Oh. Time, you know, so uh, oh, the odds at the top of the screen from... GG bet seem to favor the predictions from the majority of us. I like how Stun has thrown a little bit of a curveball yeah, in there. And I don't think it's a bad shout. Especially with the veto that we've seen come through, right? I would have, so, I would have definitely dropped my... Like, I think I was like up to like maybe 75, 75 something around yeah. that. I was quite confident, but I honestly didn't think the Vertigo would come out. So I think now I'd, I'd drop that down to maybe a 60. It's something that we weren't expecting. Hello? It. What was that? JW onto Apex here. Yeah, there's a big opening. Still one AWP up on Zywu towards the top of middle. These orbs from CTs and Ts alike are really opening up rounds. It's rare to see on Inferno. Yeah, normally uh, cottoned off by that utility. So being able to find impact in these early stages, the AWP's showing us something a little bit different from the regular meta of Inferno. Now back towards Banana, Fnatic will go. They've established their mid control. They've thrown their arch smoke out and over towards B will just be RPK. He's even slinking on back towards spawn. And what this tells me is they are just going to gamble stack over towards the A side of things. If it is a B execute, they'll be holding on to all four of these rifles. And, uh, well, that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to go get a plate for my donut, guys, because I already know what's well, happening this round. Could you grab me a latte? Uh, sure. Do you want anything, Alex? You're doing a coffee run. I've got a cup here. Oh, okay. yeah. very nice. Good for the environment. Just, yeah, coffee reusable. or what? Yeah, you, please. Yeah. That'd be wonderful. All right, I'll be back. I'll, I'll talk you through this so round. This round's over. Yeah, no, I know, Chad, but I still have to do my job. You know, sometimes even when it's like, you know, that you go into half, it's 15 0, we still have to do the second half. And... Seven, two, eight, something, 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 five, five, zero, six. <laughs> yeah, and probably going to see these being saved. So, how, how was your morning, Alex? Oh, I had a lovely morning. I, hmm. I woke up in time for a, like a leisurely breakfast. Oh, how glorious. I, I thoroughly have enjoyed the kind of the slight risque nature of having just the um, transparent n curtain, not the full blackout curtain. So I'm getting oh, a lot of natural my. light as I'm lounging around in my towel. So someone might catch a peek, but you're oh, having a good exactly. time. Exactly. It's like a little, it's like, it's like ba Silhouette, baby steps maybe. into Ooh. exhibitionism, you know? Wow. How exciting. So I had a nice morning shower routine and a yeah. black coffee in the sunshine. Felt great. Oh. Beautiful. I've vitamin turned up D to work. Really I'm talking about video games. I've taken all my vitamins and my minerals. We are I'm feeling energized. Chat, how are you guys doing? You having a nice time? Welcome, yeah. obviously. Uh, we, we, I feel like it's a different chat now, because obviously this is I Am New it's York. Completely it's different. different. It's completely. not the same people. No, so I hope so, you're doing well. Yeah. I hope you are, um, in, to some extent, motivated in something yeah. that you're passionate about. I'm just continuing to maybe chase that, that goal. Yeah, absolutely. If you think, Chad's you know, chasing the goal Attainable goals. Chad's really handing out all the goodies right now. He's yeah. hydrating us. 2.5 litres a day in. on average. Depends on your body weight. I better start chugging. Better start chugging. Actually, I have got my... You've already got a... Pretentious lemon and in ginger. Ingever. Ingever. <laughs> I don't know why I say Ingever. I'm not sure. What I've mean. been struggling with how to say oat in German as well. It's Hafer, nicht Hefer. Oh, it's... Don't get it. Don't start. don't get those I, I halfers mixed up. Five to five. Of course, Golden's the got a weapon. I hope. Uh, either way, I we'll thought be... I saw something, but as he dropped. 
Okay, there fine. We're back into the action. So just a reminder, if you did just miss that previous round, it was a full four-man save, so they don't have to invest much. You can see the only investments being around 4,600, 5K total. JW previously finding an opening frag, and that was the only frag necessary to secure them the round prior. He's tried it again. Apex, a lot of responsibility with only the FAMAS. He's going for it. This is a tough fight to win. Okay, that's an early smoke. But you've drawn a smoke out of the B players. There's only RPK there as well with his. So already in the one minute territory, you've pulled the smoke out of the defense. He's nervy. <laughs> I'd be feeling a little bit pressured as well. There's now been attention shown on both sides of the map, so maybe trying to garner a little bit of that top mid control, something obviously high on the priority list for the T side, and <laughs> obviously wanted to keep that for the CTs, however, it's been lost. For now, they can play back in, but the hit's now coming towards B. Longer rotations, Whoa. limited information, but RPK still with a great shot towards Flusher. And now RPK is in a bit of a spot of bother. Luckily for him, the Molotov yet to come in, but it might be on the way. There it is. Has to get the smoke, and Apex called upon to help him out. But the others have only just started coming. Hello. Can't see the minimap, Ooh, folks. Oh, them whole machines uh, just blow it up. There we go. There it is. Okay, so while all that happened, just in case you missed it, RPK did die. Not too surprising, quite, you know, accounted for. But the retakes can be difficult. They don't have much step here, nor do they have much utility. Apex, I thought Apex was trying to do some wall banging, but yeah, getting out, it's going to be... An impossible task. He tried to scavenge the AWP away, preserve it for another day, but Fnatic coming into their own on this T side. It was expected to see them, especially considering that this is a map they have a degree of proficiency on, one of their favorites of all time, and no surprises to see this T side starting to find some legs, stringing together consecutive rounds. It was a burst of three, and now another. Oh, wow. Nice multi-kill from Masuta, at least to contain and keep them honest. They will preserve an AWP for that T side, though, and it is just shocks in pit. Nothing to write home about there. They, those leaves look rather nettly. Yeah, I have a question, Lauren. This is hmm. I, I've been kind of embarrassed to ask it, but I may as well. Um, nettle soup. Does that mean it's made of like the ones that sting? Us? I believe so, but it's when you cook it, it's stinging nettles. I believe I may Goodness. be very stupid. I, also. But that's just an assumption I've always made, and I hmm. never was really safe to ask the question. I'd like to also just remind you, chat says they are doing quite quite well. They're oh, happy. Good. They're doing the white people happy faces. Happy smiles. Yeah, they're they're happy. We wide. Why? That's what wide. We we wide. We, we wide. Yeah, it means they're big smiley. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's, it's a nice time. It just We're sounds just peculiar. Out. I've never described myself as wide before, but well, well. <laughs> round twelve. <laughs> the money is garbage. It is, isn't it? Oh, blooming heck. Oh, shocksy Jesus! An M4. He is going to have to do something. What a name. Uh, miracle worthy. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is quite tricky, isn't it? Nah, he's got this, man. Watch this. He's got the frag, at least. Yeah, so Crim's going to get caught with a knee. Oh, Never yeah. mind. He's ever flashed in. Nothing oh, home. Spotted uh, a thigh. Drops so a smoke. Oh, I no, he's dead. alone. Roland got dinged, actually. Zai was always doing something before he goes down. One bullet to the dome. Spray reveals the M4's location. He's taking a bit of a gamble here. Respect to shocks. He goes for the jump. Whether a deliberate or not, it did evade some of the bullets. He lived to tell the tale. May want to drop that M4 over to someone else that's armored. Apex is, but Apex is cowering and under the pressure and scrutiny of three members of Fnatic. He has got the first oh, and the second. Uh... Apex says no. He really doesn't want them in today. Three frags with only the Desert Eagle. Kevlar Vesti upgrades to an AWP. He's turned this round on its head. We'll have to see that again in the replay. I'd love to see his perspective. They felt like individual fights, which is very surprising. I thought Fnatic were quite well placed together, and Apex doesn't quite land that one, but Shox is there now. So incredible work from Apex. I can't wait to see this back. That Deagle didn't even seem too panicked. It felt very, you know, okay. Bang, okay. Boop. One, right? Beat. No trade. Douche. Body wow. shot. Thank you, RPK. And then this the adjustment is... Slaps it. It's not right. too pretty, but it, it's functional. It's it's very, you know, it, it did the job that was needed. A couple of those tags clearly helping out earlier. And oh, this guy's multitasking. He's got an AirPod in one ear and the gaming heads are on the other. That's like yeah. modern times. That's overstimulation 101. <laughs> I bet you got four screens. You're looking at your phone while you're watching TV with your laptop on the left side. You're like, this is 2020, baby. Overstimulated and underappreciated. Uh. Anyway. Get back into the games. Smoke and Molly for the retake. Doesn't get them anything. They can boost to have a little lucky loo, and they will. Nade looks perfectly timed. RPK is going to gobble that up mm. to 65. Trade, not there. Good spray from Flusher. He's playing his own game. Catches him with the Galil. We're already into an early advantage. 
for the Fnatic squad. Now, this is where it's interesting. Let's see what Golden is pulling the strings for the finish. So Brolin tried to speed up a little there towards Quad, see if he could capitalize on something. Didn't find anyone. They already sat quite deep towards Pit Masuta. Very much tucked, tucked in. But the double stack towards CT Arch is a little interesting here. So if they try and play back in, you're going to have Zaiwu this time around with the orb. Full utility set as well. He is very comfortable, very well equipped to handle this. But again, they look towards B. It looks like a constant factor that Fnatic like to pressure. And Zaiwu's going to understand and potentially respect that. Now, whether or not they commit to this is yet to be seen. We're down to about 40 seconds. Golden, going to send himself in. Now, bear in mind, he has the SMG. So he'll happily do this. This is great. This is so good. This is three players pulled over, committed. They're probably like, well, all right, this is a bit weird. We don't see... Uh-oh, Misuta. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> buddy, they're, they're coming your way. Yeah, and Brolin's just taking his head off. That's just a perfect pre-fire. Flush has already crossed the side bomb. Spotted Sanjay W putting shots in him. Bit of a tight spot. He's out. The smoke enough to lock out Apex. He'll be saving. Zai was going to have to back away as well. Fnatic, a successful round off the back of the Flusher opening pick. Very nice. Very nice. Apex. Oh, slapped by JW. Oof. Quick flick of the wrist. Good to see Zaiwu and JW both in form, both hitting shots. Does uh, set the stage for a best of three that we'll all enjoy, including the players, I'm sure. When you said about RPK gobbling the nade, I now have a certain song in my head. A Thank certain you for that. song? One that I probably shouldn't sing on air. Can't sing you know, it? No. Something about, you know, a bucket and mop. Buckets and mops. Macaroni. Macaronis pot. in a pot. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those days. Golden did so well at selling that too. <laughs> the no scope icon in the kill feed is a really nice extra touch of disrespect. When I mean, you like, you know, when you get bullshitted and you're yeah. like what was that and then you see the no scope icon as well you know like it was even more ridiculous than it initially could have been yeah. really does add salt to the wound very ah, dexter's laboratory laboratory <laughs> dexter more the murderer not the scientist uh, the, yeah yeah the plastic sheeting yeah. Sca little creepy scary. Smile, fake man maybe just doing a little update of the office though mm. new look you know paint the walls Oh, baby. I am thoroughly enjoying the, uh, the, the the digs ESL have got us. I've rotated the TV now, so I'm kind of living in this... Saw that. I've got, like, the stream on. I'm living in this kind of, actually, kind of a, mm. a living situation. It feels almost like a home now. Oh, That's and lovely. Chad's arrived with a caffeine. Thank you oh, very thank you so much. Oh, thank you um, We've had a couple of rounds. Nothing too crazy happened. It's all been as expected. Thank you very much. And Chad will be rejoining us. We have once again seen, mostly, Fnatic looking quite solid on this causing some nuisance with rotations and honestly pressuring in the right ways. A lot of the time we have seen, you know, Zywu or Apex called to be and they've been dedicated there, but poor Masood has been left to rot over towards Pit. It's very by the book Counter-Strike at this point in time. Mm. It hasn't been anything too crazy. They've been very much loving this commitment of a of an individual. Your, your MAC-10 on Golden charging into B, keeping three players there for your take onto a, a lone Masuta. It's worked multiple times, of course. Saves have come in as well. CT economy's been stretched thin, but they've got all the goodies they need other than the Deagle on Apex. Here we go. An A hit. All four of them coming in quad side. Crims from apartments. Masuta, a lot to do. Anti-flash working out well. The spray a bit sketchy. Apex only finding the one on the Deagle. That's the site lost. An RPK. One of the pillars of consistency for vitality against all odds, against a lot of people's judgment. They he lost has the bomb. maintained. Found it. So I would just like to, while the save comes in, apologize for my tardiness. Now, uh, there was no beans, so I had oh, to put no. in... We were looking at beans. buying beans today. And this, then yeah. there's the Van Dyke beans. Exactly. I actually purchased the Van Dyke beans before. I think we buy beans for the whole squad. You know, like we... For the hopper? Upgrade, bean gang. Yeah. We needed to see what we're working with to make sure we purchased the correct beans. But then, I mean, they're oh, beans. They're be just beans. But then there was no milk, Lawrence. So for yours, I had to get milk. And oh, then wow. then there was no so water, so I had to get the water. And oh, then Lord. I made your coffee. But then, Alex, I was like, okay, well, there's there's espresso. Yeah. There's the, the just one that says coffee. Americano. And then there's the what one that says do? Americano. So I went with Americano. Alex is an Americano, man. Normally. I do like that. It's just espresso with hot water, right? Yes, yeah, so that's yeah. basically it. So I went for the double, so it's going to be quite strong. It's, it looks lit. That's how I speak. Pardon? But um, <clears throat> yeah, so there was a lot of stuff happening, and I, I really oh, apologise to everybody at home. I'm just glad you're here. I need to turn the fan on. I'm get this corduroy I, shirt is a little thicker than I anticipated. And I do have another thing that I have to to tell everybody at home. Oh, um, gosh, what there'll what? be no skyboxing going on. Why aren't you boxing? Well, there was obviously an update overnight uh, for the Counter Strike, and oh, look, nothing it, really changed. But, but it's, it's thrown a spanner it. in the works of my Thule business, and we'll be back Thule online business. soon. Don't worry about that. But just for the people at home, I know they get excited. I get. Emails 
emails. You know, my mailbag is full. Oh, yeah. Um, so I just want to let everyone know it will be coming. But, but the Skybox Fanatics. Yeah, they love it. It's a potential 9-6 half here. Fnatic coming into this one with a real touch of momentum. Golden catching the nade, but they have converted five of the recent six rounds of play. So it's a strong finish. I like the pop flash there. Doesn't find its mark, but you can see how effective it would have been on that tight line. Uh, How's Shox's is ADR doing? Yeah, he's, he's having a bit of a bad game here, bless him. He's not able to... Bless him. Bless his cotton socks. It, it happens. I mean, I'm never going to sit there and say Shox is a bad player. I'm not going to say that Zywu can't maybe make a little bit of a, a strong case for being able to pick up any sort of slack if needed just once in a while. So already controlling the top of Banana and... Look how resistant he is to going wider than that. It's just like there's a there's a, there's a line in his head. He is drawn Whoa. in. The smoke almost encouraging, but he does get flushed through the wall. But for now, all the damage, really, the big deal damage is going towards Fnatic. Obviously, losing out on JW, losing out on Flusher. Now, Zywu being low shore is a factor, but he has the AWP. He'll be fine. They walk through this smoke. Shox is in such a good position to deal with them. If they really want to just crouch, walk, and nutmeg, Bronze and the Lurk Smoke Hay Bales, it is enough of an indicator that they are committing. 30 seconds. Shox is tucking into the site. Apex dropping the nade. If that sentry Holy. goes down, that's perfect. Oh, they're going to be forced into the fight. Apex needs the timing. He has found the first, looking for the transfer. Crimson needs to get the molly down now. Brolin's hunting. Misuta sprayed down and finished off. Threat neutralized. Apex, a lot to do with only the FAMAS. Fantastic adjustment. Does keep it competitive, but they have both of the B players. Zywu and RPK up against Flusher and Crims. They anticipate this. Zywu is low. It falls to RPK to make an impact, and Flusher's already scoped up. It would come down to a very nice reaction shot and the jiggle. Okay, warning shot given. Zywu coming up quad side. Crims not looking either. Yeah, I, I assume Crims is just sat head tucked in. Oh, no, he's, he's having a little bit of a look. Zywu might have seen that. Zywu's gone up so close. That's a tag. But now there's a problem. <laughs> They're all still standing. My, my, this is going to be a close one. I feel Vitality do trail and Fnatic not looking too shabby.
the clouds And I'll take it Yeah Reminding myself To just let go Don't wonder how far Vitality looking to start strong. It is a new event, a new start, and of course, looking to do better than ESL Pro League. They did fall flat, unable to carry themselves through the playoffs. And JW and Fnatic, the same. Both looking for a bit of a redemption arc into what is another bite of the online cherry. 9-6 on the half Inferno. Fnatic's pick. Day one of IEM New York Online. Flasher, flashbanged in real life. And made impressive, he manages to continue to perform when he's full white. All right. Well, here we go. The buy is coming on in. Team Vitality. Even odds. GG.bet have changed their mind, keeping it very level. Bit of a coin toss between these by the bookkeeper's standards. And we have got a peak 250 on the T side. A bit two smokes as well. They'll be taking their initial time. It's interesting to see the three-man abs hold, Chad. I imagine this has got a timer on it. Uh, they might push forward for info if they don't hear too much. So JW picking on out does see RPK, and that's indicative that it is a passive second mid setup. So we might see that aggression coming through with Brolin any moment. The pressure will be over towards the B side of things. A fast flank up banana is also possible with the current positions we're seeing out of Fnatic. Smokes are being lined on up. HE going on over towards Spawn. It actually missed there from Apex. Nobody was home to receive it anyway, but just dipped off the wall. Coffins, CT, Flash, Golden, the only one to take contact. He's got so many targets, this is kind of intimidating. Zywoo does best him. Flash has done very well to find that through the smoke, and he's tempted to put in a couple of shots towards the Coffins position. It's a four on four. No kid in play right now, and they rotated through CT, so that fast flank is not an option. Yeah, and Apex has already cleared this, so he knows, well, pretty safe. Might have a consideration towards it, but with the time ticking as it is. I'm oh, that was a full 74 in. damage nade. Okay, JW, that's going to sit on Shox's lap, but I still am waiting to see the Whoa. final punch it shut down. It it didn't feel that contested. Vitality cleared it out quite comfortably. Yeah, I'm really surprised Fnatic with those four positions didn't go for the flank, right? That's normally what you'd want to get away with a play like that, but maybe the demos that they've been watching or the prediction they had into the pistol round was that Vitality would finish over towards the A side of the map. Not to be. He was, was Flash's trade out on that B side. And here's that nade. Damage. Perfect dunk. So he didn't have Kevlar <laughs> behind that. Because he had utility and a P250. So a little bit more uh, susceptible to the nade damage. Old Shoxy boy there as we get back underway. Force by will come through for Fnatic here. Harassing towards Banana. Nade down. And ahead of it. So RPK, the tank, aggressive within the early stages, rolling on forward, goes down to Golden, untradeable. That teamwork Shox was talking about, not really uh, an option right there as they were se segregated by a Molotov on the Fnatic side of things. And now they're down with a number disadvantage and a minute 20 left on the clock. This is very early to be losing somebody. Can probably get rid of the MAC-10 if he really wants their Apex, but... Just hanging around, see if any Fnatic aggression comes on through while well, Shox and Masuda, they take Arch. Yeah, Crim's got a good shot and it's not easy. Shox has taken him down easily with the Mag 10. He'll upgrade to the sidearm. They're wrapping B. This is mm. going to get a bit sketchy because the timing could be perfect. They have to look at their minimap and time this pressure with Apex and Zywoo. Oh, Now it's perfect. Oh, and the frags come in from either side. Both duos have managed to get it all. That was an accident there from Masuda showing his leg because he was had back turned and he didn't actually know that he's shown a little bit of his body or at least I'm yeah, assuming I'd it was an assumption. accident. Uh, so the spam comes through and it actually puts them out of position as they force themselves into that B bomb site to put eight rounds on the board. We're going to see Brolin and JW just holding onto this Deagle and the MP9. I want to make a note here with JW's purchases. He's got uh, 1,200 left in the bank. So he's probably going to be looking to get the AWP out in that first gun round. But let's take a little, little bit of a listen as he's there's some tools, there's the radio. And JW doesn't want any of it. I mean, the people at home are already listening to a good bunch of It's tools. an awesome Crosses World Championship. <laughs> oh, dear. You can't play by yourself, though, I'm afraid. Oh. But um, I do want to say as well, Vitality, I'm glad to see some like, nice proactive approach then after kind of losing out early on towards B. They went, oh, okay, let's do that nice little crunch towards B instead of just kind of running at them and hoping our guns work better. 
feels good. Got to make sure your guns are clean to make them work correctly. Well, Rush is the weapons expert here, so let's... Rush is the kind of guy that, like, has airsoft rifles and then, like, blindfolds himself after playing some Beat Saber and just dismantles them and rebuilds them time after time, like... Before bed. Yeah, listening to, like, kind of violin string um okay music. there are many like it but this is my own yeah exactly like he, he like chants what like bible saying? verses and stuff and he's like oh my air force john wick special edition oh, 999 right. <laughs> caliber i remember why are we flaming uh, him no i remember i, I remember I like when it's valid but i remember when the world was ending right and uh everyone was talking about Still like is. how they were how they were going to to deal with the world ending and, and henry went and got himself uh, the john wick yeah, he did, he did. Uh, yeah. And airsoft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and Rush was like, Henry, you know that that's not going to hurt anybody, right? Like, that's not going to do it. call that a gun? <laughs> this is a gun. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, okay, so we do have the Deagle, and that's already been removed. Problem was the other with the gun. At the uh, same time, though, when Henry was picking up pistols, <laughs> Chad was stocking up on, like, meal replacement shakes like to the point. Oh, that like, was you. Oh, I got oh, beef jerky. <laughs> yeah, he bought like 12 kilos of beef jerky and I was like, I need to do something. I need to... What, what was your... I bought like an absurd amount of meal replacement um, sachets. Nice. Okay. I ended up giving them away. Gave some to Rush Lee. Yeah, Rush, Rush really gets yeah. a bit lucky around here, isn't he? So he got, he got the, the sub byproduct of my um, incited mass who hysteria. Was, who, who got the toilet paper? I no wasn't... One. None of us fell into that meme. No, we didn't fall into that. I see. Wow. Okay, well done, boys. Um, I was, I think I came back from an event and the only option was, uh, like, an, you know, an Amazon order, yep. which obviously are, like, mad, mad amounts of. Um, so, yeah, I, I just had, like, 40 rolls just in my apartment. Still do. At least you didn't buy, like, a full Costco crate and you no, I, I, showed how no. despicable of a person you are. I ordered no. us uh, 100 two-liter bottles of water in Malta that was when nice. I got back. That was hey, good. you guys are, we, we were discussing, you know, zombie apocalypse, what do you do, right? It was, we're I think it was me, you, and... Yeah, yeah exactly. Rush. You yeah, guys yeah. are quite well sorted. I'd be on your balcony, Chad, with a <laughs> Matt John Wick pistol. And <laughs> 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 we're going to have a big gate there. No one's getting in, mate. <laughs> Dude. Uh, All right, the guns All right, are out. This is a big one, though. Round 19, the AWP is out for JW. MAC-10 kept for Masuta and Apex. Let's see if they go for something a little bit quicker. Apex on the flash will force his way up middle quite quick. This looks like it has intention towards A. We can see all five members of Vitality now setting up for this set piece. Ooh. Away we go. Hot flashes hurt. JW very blind as he does manage to deploy a perfect smoke. They have to disrespect that. Brolin, he's laying down some respect of his own. Not going to catch Masuta pushing in wide and shocks. Ooh. That's a crucial duel. He'll take the upgrade. He'll take the frag and he'll take the sight. Masuta has it. Apex tucked in onto the library and he has got a good read on Flusher. This should be an M uh, MAC-10 frag and he does control it nicely. Gets awkward now for Fnatic. The save word being discussed in the comms. It's a retake that's doable, but you'd need a frag, and that deployment of the smoke has given Shocks more time. Yeah, I think Golden's intention right now. You can see him back in the hell out, but Ooh. now they find one. Suddenly, they W is pressed. No kit, that's true. Right There's in the one pit. in the pit. Ah. Oh, they're going to have to be quick on this. got no though. time, yeah. though. Maybe JW shoots Shocks in the bottom here. Oh, uh. yikes! That's enough. That's the save. That's the miss. Does keep him on the site, at least. I don't know if they can contest. He's got an aid. Oh, Shocks. Could have given me that dosier X god. Oh, yeah, I'm getting really confused. It's Other fanatic on the yeah, CT yeah. side. I was looking for a grenade. I found one. Just Could on have the himself. Sign. Could have tried that. There you Wouldn't go. recommend it to a friend. No, don't don't do damage to yourself if you can avoid it, guys. <laughs> but Apex was the key to that round by getting into library and dealing with that rotation. Even though you see Golden taken down here through the smoke, him slowing that down was basically the key to the round victory there for Vitality as right. they put uh, a bunch of rounds on the board in a row here. That should be four. It was a 9-6 first half. Fnatic will be calling their first tactical timeout to discuss their options. And we can bring up the scores for everybody at home. So the players that we highlighted to watch in the pregame was JW. He definitely has more than three ADR. And on the other side of things, it would have been Zaiwu, who has 14 kills to his name. And he'll be rocking a MAC-10 into this next round. We heard from old boy Shocks in our pre-recorded pregame interview mentioning how teamwork needed to be one of the focuses for Vitality as they re-emerge from being knocked out of the Pro League group stage. And look, things, it's not bad, a 10-9 scoreline, it's very early days. Now, for those who uh, want to know about the format for uh, the European side of things, we're doing two groups of four teams with the GSL bracket. So the winner of this will progress to the upper bracket final, uh, and the winner of that will get themselves into the playoffs immediately. Mm, JW's only got the AWP alongside Golden. 
trying to at least show its presence on Banana could be enough to buy them some time. In fact, that does seem to be JW's belief by firing off the shot. Pulse Mutil and wanting to back up on A, considering the pace by which Vitality have taken apartments, this does feel like the right play. So Golden and JW, one rifle on either side. This, oh, he's oh, so he's flashed. so flashed. He's on nothing. Comes out of it well. I think Zio just straight up cratered, but... They've done really well to hold on to this, keeping that AWP in a very deadly position. Brolin's still going to be a nuisance from Pit, even with just the Deagle. On towards... Oh, oh, it's kind of losing out on its danger here, if I'm honest. If Brolin goes down without a kill, I think this one might be wrapped up, Ooh. unless we get some very unique individual plays. I didn't expect Flusher and Golden, even though the smoke was there, everything was looking quite nice for Vit Vitality to find room. Now, Flusher, one smoke, one Deagle. But look at Shox's HP, it's pretty low, and that shot is very on point. Incredibly well controlled. I'm very surprised that worked out as well as it did. Good positioning coming in, quick rotations, yeah, these, all there. These last, what, 2v2s, 1v1s, they've all gone Fnatic's way as of late. Certainly in that first half, but that's them breaking the back of oh, that's Team Vitality shot. Squad. First we've seen from the Fnatic defense here on Inferno. Now we're looking to string a couple together. Preserve Dorp, JW starting to save his pennies. Yeah. Five AKs. Vitaly going to be a bit disappointed they weren't able to convert against that one. Not a gimme by any means, but uh, around that they would have liked to have been pulling on back, knowing that the guns were coming out from Fnatic. Very, very shortly, regardless, as Crims has found another opening. Shox has traded straight back. That's aggression over towards second middle. Bit of a nightmare going on right here within the early stages. Fighting towards Banana now. Fnatic want to equalize, well, they don't want to equalize. They want to find another frag. Mm -hmm. Apex and RPK down the bottom of Banana. Finally relinquishing a little bit of that fight for Banana Control. They have shuffled away towards site, but they are already down to a smoke, so I guess propping up Golden. Where does Flusher go with this? I guess Nubox and sits and waits patiently. It's a hard one to imagine working out well if it does become that 4v2. They better get these trades just right. Flusher's smoke could be great. Doesn't really find too much placement, but the bullets do from Golden. Quick trade from Whoa. Apex and the follow-up as well. Apex poignant as ever on these entries. Yep. Now three stand, post plant. Flush is going to be kicking himself. Makes things difficult, <sighs> perhaps not. JW's oh, just dear. found the equalizer. Nade could have done significant damage. The incendiary can too. It's emo though. They just don't have to focus on it now. Zai was getting aggressive in towards the pool angle. Shocks will at some point take an inquisitive jiggle. Brolin's on his way. There's a molly for this position as well. Oh, you're right. He'll throw that once he gets across. This looks great for Fnatic. He has to hit this shot, though. Zywa in the off angle. What a shot. High elevated position now playing around the fountain, and it's good stuff from Vitality. Closes. <laughs> so, uh, Shox and Zywa, if you have those two last alive in a situation like that, you want to be walking away with the round if you are Vitality. Yeah. Now for Fnatic, money's back in question. What type of buy do they want to look forward to? And this is just a little peek on out there from Zywa. It's a right eye peek. Easy as you like. And then Shox playing around the fountain. Don't play in the fountain. It, the water's probably a bit dirty. Uh, but around fish the fountain is fine. Yeah, well, they are quite dirty fish. Are they? Yeah. Hmm. They're, they're probably, washing all the time, Jack. Yeah, but there's probably some algae in this and one. Look how clean that kill was from JW. He's not dirty at all. A little filthy, maybe, with the aim. But he's going to take down Zywood to start with. And the AWP, obviously, still into play here, coupled with some CZs, Deagles. But these rounds are looking very competitive, even when the odds are looking very favorable to, let's say, Vitality here. You've got, you know, a full purchase. And yet JW's still all over the map. He's now leaning towards B. He might be able to find another one here. RPK tucked on in, will punish, but the trade, it's possible. Flush up towards the sandbags. Taking a big chunk of damage there and gets run down. So the tank's stepping up in a big way. 20 kills. That's lovely. 100. ADR at this stage of the game. Oh, the barrel spotted. Yeah, they're both working with that new information. Grim's tucking back into the site, does forego a lot of control. Apex wants to take it back, oh. and he does. Mm. Their aim starting to look really, really reliable here for the French. Could very well be a, a guaranteed 12th, but at the moment, this T side has had only one blemish on the record. Five of six, now six of seven rounds of play going in Vitality's way. Still a little moment of danger here. Brolin close with the CZ and Golden going for information. If he can get that AWP... Oh, never mind. He's not worried about Banana. He's rotating over. Brolin here at the danger zone oh. and he's unable to connect. Only a moment. He gets run down. RPK with the third in the round and now it is just going to be Golden with the Deagle. I don't think he can pull off a Flusher-esque situation as uh, there's a few more members to deal with. If he can nice. pick up a gun and take it away, that's not too bad.
I think uh, if we're going to start looking forward in this series, mm-hmm. if Fnatic don't pick this one up, even though we know that they've been working on Vertigo and they've left it open, Ooh, Team Vitality are a very, very good Vertigo team. So it is going to be a real tough test. If they're able to come out and surprise and then convert against Vitality on Vertigo and then carry us forward to that third map, that'll be exciting in itself. But yeah, the odds now start to swing, uh, right? We really start to... If they're unable to convert their own map choice... Now, I just want to quickly update everybody because we have simultaneous <laughs> streams running right now uh, over on the B stream. We do have G2 taking on Complexity, and that is Complexity with Nader Safik still standing in. They haven't signed an official new fifth yet uh, after the Oboe departure. Going up against the G2 on Overpass, and G2 are actually losing uh, 12 to 9. Now, what's surprising about this is G2 don't play Overpass. So, uh, well, it looks like in their two weeks, G2 have been opting to practice it. So if they're going to leave that open, they went for uh, the ban of Train. That left Overpass as, as a map choice, and Complexity went for the Punish. Mm. Um, so yeah, this is an interesting one, and uh, quite. This is when the vetoes do get interesting, you know, when you can talk about those little nuances and changes. If we take a look now, is it is the second tactical timeout for Fnatic? They have to discuss their options because they're only working with very few rounds now. Four more for Vitality to convert map number one. That was my shoelace getting caught in the fan. <laughs> ah, I was, what I was, was like, I don't know what. I, I actually had a little panic. Yeah, no, I'm just fiddling once again, endlessly unable to sit still. Can you pass me a little plate? Yeah, I can. No, no worries. I've got, I, I do want to the, walk over. I went for the coconut donut. It was it's a coconut one? Yeah. Well, there was. Oh, that was only half the coconut donut. Get a knife and just have half so you can try some out. Oh, Lauren, can you throw that little donut on a plate for me as well? You want the straw? I don't know. I think I like the look of that little chalky There's one. lots of donuts here, guys. You have as many as you want, all right? Yeah. So you. Chad's box. Always Chad's delivering. Box always delivers. Apex with a smoke grenade towards quad side. See what they can do to take some early space, forcing JW off the line. It's a hard fight. Smoke down. Oh, he smoked himself off here. He didn't mm. want to get there. Yeah, now look at the space Apex denies. Oh, they smoke on top of it. This is no oh. fun for JW. He's so detached from the site. Guns are closed. Yeah. Oh, no luck like the people leering into Alex's hotel room in the mornings, looking for a little glimpse. Roland gets taken down. Crims trying to be proactive about this, but he gets touched by the Molly and Zywu all too aware of it. Instantly takes down Crims. Now Golden feeling a little out of place. Quite bold of him even to step that far, considering that site is swarmed. That's a plant and surely a save now. I don't see a way back yeah, through. Yeah, exactly. And uh, this is the thing with Inferno. If you are a newer viewer to Counter-Strike, welcome. But uh, yeah. what you're about to see is some save action. And if I was Vitality right now, with the money I'm working with, I would be hunting. And that's what Shox is doing exactly. Up oh, Banana Hill Trundle. RPK Apex to follow the convoy. Three CTs to find and weapons to rip from their hands. As they're not working with a lot going into next round. The max loss bonus will be nice. But if these weapons get thrown to the ground, they're going to be in a tough spot. So flashes, smokes, it all comes over. RPK takes off Golden's head. Apex onto old boy Flasher. And there it's just JW trying to hold on to this orb. They're closing in. JW behind you. Look around as Apex will finish him off. And that right there is only $3,400 in the bank balance for Fnatic as the extra cash. It's going to make a world of difference considering the moment in the game that's happened. Yeah. Around 13.10, that save was crucial. These frags. Uh, uh, that frag from Zywoo. Okay. But this is the last second frag. Look at this. Just before we were sent back to spawn, Apex takes it away. He's smirking. He knows how much he's achieved there. Yeah, and it is the AWP, right? So the chance now for Look JW to go they aggressive. They have to accept 14 here, Chad. And it's just a troubling time for Fnatic here on their map choice. The woes of online continue as Masoots has opened up onto JW. That was an aggressive apps push going on down on the other side of the map as they want to fight. They flash Whoa, forward. Oh, no Snappy way. Turtle can't convert. And now it's three on five with a minute 28 left on the clock. So I think Inferno is looking pretty done and dusted. Yeah. A little bit. Not ready to write it out just yet. Fnatic will have another buy round into this next. That is when I will fully get the pen out and start writing them out. Oh, I have some more fun stuff coming in from Amazon very soon, so we can uh, we can do some. Or fun any stuff. other online retailer. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. I just I find it funny to pretend we have to say that. Are we on like Twitch exclusively now? Is that what's going on? Uh, I don't on? think so. We've no. got the YouTube no. stream. Oh, YouTube okay. Stream. Well then. All right. You're uh, you're allowed. I just make yolk. 
All right, this one's only a matter of time once more, unless something insane can come in from Crims, Brolin, and Flusher. We need a multi-kill and then some. So we're not looking for just two frags. We're looking for more. And while Flusher can't find anything, flashed up, smoked off, body hits the ground. The open. As uh, Crims and Brolin, well, they are left wondering, what the bloody hell can we do with these $700 pistols, these little hand cannons? But on the other side of things... There you go. That's okay, what you do with them. not bad. Look how strung out the other members of Vitality are. So two of them mm. were still passive over towards alt middle. There's 20 seconds left on the clock. Maybe this gets interesting if aggression follows through. Smokes are clearing now. There still is utility coming from these players who are late from banana. Another smoke towards coffins. Bomb goes down. Now that excitement I was building uh, just gets sucked out. But Chad, you yes. can only talk about the game. Don't you dare think about having a conversation outside of it. How did you find the donut? Was it chocolatey? on the table. You, did we, ha, ha, ha. Was it as chocolatey <laughs> as you? Uh, <laughs> you love really just badly formed jokes, don't you, Alex? Your favorite thing. Yeah, well, they're dad jokes, right? Yeah, and I, and I understand apparently the you know the science behind it. <laughs> yeah. Why say, like, dad jokes are so cheesy? Mm -hmm. It's because when you're a father, you can't, you know, the sense of humor, it has to be something that's accept uh, acceptable and accessible for, by your children as well. So the only way to make them laugh and to do so safely without crossing any lines and getting too political or something else is to just say something dad jokey, which is, you know, obvious upfront bad, but still makes you laugh because it's bad. It's a safe way for a father to make jokes with his children. Yeah. That's why they're called dad jokes. That's why I do them all the time. That's a nice yeah. little deep bit of util <laughs> utility. Yeah. I always scares the life out of me. He's the way this him. guy plays, he's got Bang. both there. I don't know if you realize that Flusher was there. I don't think he got the timing on the peak Repeat again. Flusher, there was there was a consideration. I swear that light bulb almost came on, but he has backed away for now. But Zywoo's getting close, and Flusher is the only defense here. Yeah, it's a tracer fire for Zywoo to process. His mechanical brain starts to whir. This was looking very bad for one moment for Vitality in round number 25, but the residual damage that was done to JW on the quad side with the AWP, he's now rotated over towards Library, has leveled up the playing field, and Vitality look actually way, probably have the advantage. Look at the way they're playing. This is such a Vitality-esque approach. You've got three middle, Zywoo tucking in and just sitting there. That's the AWPer left to his own devices to try and catch any banana info pushes. Flusher on the second orange box. JW is rotating over now towards the B side of things, so he, he will get there in time. Yeah, and I mean, if he drops the smoke at 30 seconds, they are going to either gray screen or have 15 seconds. Here it comes. JW can't get his smoke out in time. It will oh, have to a be a gap. gap. Oh, he can exploit that. Huge gap. Unless it's by design. It's not. Sharks going down. Krims gets Masuta. And this one is oh. Fnatic's round. Nothing he can do. 17 Nasty. seconds of spray smoke. Yes, okay. Maybe one more. <laughs> not to be. Here's the thing on the VOD review after, and you go, hey, um, hey, uh, sorry, mate, uh, you missed the CT smoke. That's one of those situations where it's not even like, how do you fix that? Because everyone should know how to throw the CT smoke on Inferno. Like, I think every man and his dog... Who, can do it. It's one even of, I can. It's one of the easiest smokes to throw. So having a bit of a fumble like that, it's not a, a huge... Obviously, you want to close the game out as quickly as possible. It's not a crunch round. It's not going to lose them the game. Well, maybe it will. But... Um, you don't want to be losing rounds because of a missed smoke, especially a basic one. If it's like a little bit trickier, something harder to pull off, then sure. But uh, we get back underway for round 26. Buys are out for both sides. AWP for Zywoo. Flusher picking up the secondary AWP on the CT side to meet up with JW. Make their uh, defense a little bit more potent, at least being able to prod forward and not have to use as much utility within the early stages. Back and forth. The rally of nades in banana goes as golden. He wants to get inquisitive and he's oh, far ahead of RP. Can't see anything. I swear that flame was right in front of his nose. Singeing his hairs. It smells terrible, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh, and Flushy <laughs> uses the tracer fire to great success. Tracking his target. Double orps are out and connecting. Flushy with one. Sends them, channels them towards A, and they haven't taken I the hate, bomb. I hate this, Alex. It makes me uh, so nervous because now, well, okay, so Shox has to go back, but once that smoke fades on Banana, Flush might have a little bit of vision on the cross. Timing's okay. Not far off, though. A couple of flashes, bit of util being put down by Shox to show some intention. Zywoo. Oh, I love it when Counter-Stroke makes oh. sense. Great catch from Rush as well. Not only the utility being deployed, but that perfectly syncing up with Crims looking for info middle. That was the fight. Masuta continuing to impress. That's his 19th frag here. Zywoo's gone down. Shock's caught with his nade in his hands. And Golden happy to slay. That's the end of Masuta as well. Fnatic putting in a quite nice last-ditch last haul. 
Stringing together two rounds in a row. It's good to see as well the individuals such as Crims, Golden, Flasher starting to get into the teens. This was the frag from Golden. What does he see? Not, I swear to goodness me. Nonsense. And that's the trace of fire. Good shots from Flasher. This is where the one was wrapped. Round was wrapped up. Guys, I played two games of matchmaking yesterday in the morning, solo queue. I'm hearing that. And I lost both of them. I just want to hear your natural That's reaction so to that. Much. I'm so annoyed. Chad Virtual, really... the man who never plays Counter Strike with us, played two solo oh, queues. You're really, you're really, I, really I upset to me about this, Chad. You, you pretend to be a buffer. You're like, no, I actually only want to play Counter Strike oh, with my level. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's so hard playing with you tiny brained humans. I've never you said know, that. You know, I know four smokes and understand the new one. I, like, I can't deal with it. I've and you go in solo queue. You imply it every time, Chad. Every you know what you have said that. Oh, I'll go play my ECA game so I can finally I play did. with some people who've I got a brain. ECA, I don't need this. Do you know what, Chad? Minutes, so. How about you just play with your friends? How about you have fun with your friends? Oh, you, sheesh, you know, you might have a good time. Bad. We live different schedules, Lauren. No, we don't. I like to get up in the morning. Chad wakes up with the morning rooster. Oh, stop trying to be Sean his, Clark, all right? <laughs> You're not him. He was a much better caster. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's oh up at 5 a.m. going for runs. That ain't you. That, not yet. Ryan. Not yet. No, Chad. Play matchmaking bought, with us, you horrible I bought boy. donuts today. The other day, I drove you around pizza you did because it that. wouldn't well, I deliver. I thank you for that. That doesn't, that doesn't take anything away from the fact that you don't treat us as equals. I don't know why I'm being attacked uh, right now. It's a tag through the wall. It's not going to be the commitment towards B, but all things considered, Golden does have to go loudly. Straight over to the B to fill that gap. Do they commit? It does seem like they're having the conversation about how... There you go about finishing this one off. The third man in limbo from Fnatic towards the B side of things right now is the Danger Man, and that's JW once more. 20 kills to his name, has a decent chunk of utility as well to slow down this push on towards the site. We can see here Fusher posted up with the AWP. So Smokes will be good from Fnatic to delay this. Has landed. I'm sure this time around there'll be no gap. Golden's going to throw out his. That's going to cut the clock down to about 20 seconds unless they want to force, and it looks like they're going through. Oh, this is brutal. Look at that flash. Still blind, still blind, now burning. Oh, yeah. They are out of the flash, and they... Oh, I don't want to say they made it to the site. They oh. really have, and this is horrible. RPK is so low, the USP could have done damage, but not anymore. Zywoo catching Crims in the smoke. Flush is in trouble. Not sure he's going to be able to get away from this one. The spray's not far off. There's kits littered everywhere. CT's corpses floundering around the B site. They will retreat. This will be theirs. Can we cut back to that Brolin AK, by the way? Maybe you can explain to me. Um, the fire, the serpent aspect of this. So what's going on with this whole yellow detailing? What am I looking at? What is the fire part of this? Precisely. Like, it's just the name, though. It just doesn't make sense, though. Like, what's the top part of this? Is it part of the creature? Yeah, but like... What is, like it's like a bandage scaly... I don't know. But it could just be a name. Yeah. Oh, hang on, wait. No, look, there's a foot. Is there ah. a foot? Yeah, I saw a foot on the other perspective we had. Roland, could you just stop trying to win the round? And <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, look, that's a little foot on the mag. Okay. There's, there's, oh, there's was clouds, wasn't it? Yeah, there's clouds, but he's standing on when the clouds. When you think of serpent. Oh, you're right. Yeah, look, footy. Oh, that's kind of cool. Stop switching, Roland. Thank it, you. It reminds me of, like, not... <sighs> I'm trying to think of, like, what it reminds me of. Like, that sort of, like... Uh, uh, like a Mayan temple. Yeah, yeah, that sort of stuff. It's yeah. kind of cool. Well, Zywoo was the round winner right here, getting himself up to 21 kills with these Must two frags nice. on your screen. And, and the fact that he's able to slow down that rotation coming on in has allowed the remainder of his teammates to get sight control, deal with Flusher. And now, well, the scoreline 15 to 12. Bai will come back on out. Double Ops still in play right now. But Vitality, if they can get Banana Control again, there's no reason they can't go for a similar finish. This time round, over towards A, Arch Smoke coming through. Nobody in Banana. Just RPK towards T-Stairs, dealing with any hyper-aggression as they flash on up, using that arch smoke, clearing towards top middle. And now with a minute 25 remaining on the clock, Vitality already have one key piece of the map. JW hyper-aware that now there's a problem. Oh. Gap in left and Zywoo's gone and shown him. Hey, I'm already going, bud. At least JW does catch Masuta, but Zywoo is a bit of a problem here, especially as he's found Golden. Now, the bomb is still towards Boiler. It's just kind of like tucked its way out, but this is uncomfortable now for the CTs. The man in the middle will be Flusher. Yeah, the fact that he's got that frag or the tag, he is in a box. A world of hurt. There's another. Flash suggests it. And a good catch on JW's rotate. Flusher has to do it all now. He needs shots. Can't oh. find it. Good try. That should be the bomb plant now. There's two CTs coming up. Banana and Shox has handled it. Handling business. A third required. Brolin with it all to do. They have a smoke as well. God, he's locked out. He is so locked out. They might even just throw it in front of Shox. Oh, he's given it everything he's got, <laughs> Captain. 16 to 12. 
Vitality taking Fnatic's map pick, and that spells trouble. Heading into Vertigo, a Vitality dominant map, and Fnatic floating in the map pool. We'll be back in a break after the break to talk all about it. Donkey.